video, I'm gonna let you know that my second channel is doing better on my main channel in certain ways, and the analytics are crazy. So for people that don't know, we actually do have a second channel where it's called Kaka TV 2. And if you go to Kaka TV 2, that which you can actually find simply, if you're on my main channel, most people don't know, right? Most people don't know where, like, if you go below, like, home page, second channel is there. And the second channel, the second channel's identity and strategy is the exact opposite of my main channel. Here's what I mean by that. The main channel, right? Main channel. Variety content. Horizontal scaling. Right? Volume. Right? Prioritizing. Volume of content, right? Just massive, sheer amount of volume, right? The main channel, if you look at it, right? Look at this shit. There's a stupid amount of content that's just all over the place, but it doesn't mean it's random. Remember the most important thing in the game of YouTube is to understand your audience and deliver content that they want to watch. And by understanding what my audience wants to watch based on viewership and different data that gives me engagement signals, I can figure out what to cut off and what to focus. I can also just as simply, you know, ask you guys, right? This is how we pick the shows we want to watch. Fate Zero, I believe, is going to win at this rate, but this is how we're handling this shit, right? I know what my audience wants to watch and we handle it this way, but the main channel just still covers so many different series, right? We have about four reactions per day on the main channel and one reaction on the second channel. That's the workflow. But notice the difference to the second channel. The second channel is purely Beyblade and look at the average viewership. The average viewership is reaching three fucking thousand. Do you understand how stupid that is? Hold up. This is a great soundtrack, by the way. Do you understand how stupid that at a mere 1.85k subscribers, at a mere 107 videos published, the average viewership per each video is almost getting to 3,000? And compare that to my main channel. Bro, it's lower. Main channel is doing worse. Now, there are some times where we can get more with series like ReZero that people really love. But the community series reactions, right? The baseline temp like level is around like 2,000, man. And compare that. This channel is almost about 20k subscribers in, right? Nearly 3,000 videos published. Yet, why does a channel this size... Uh, why doesn't it uh, have more average viewership than the second channel? And it's very easy. At the end of the day, remember. Second channel. This is why, right? Not very specific content, right? If the first channel is all about horizontal investment, meaning you cover so many variety topics, right? Vertical scaling, right? Just Beyblade, right? Vertical scaling, just Beyblade, right? You pick one topic, one niche, and you deliver content on that shit, right? Prioritizing Accuracy, right? Precision over volume. And I think uh, a picture was actually going to be better. I think a picture will help you understand what I really mean by prioritizing precision over volume. So, at the end of the day, you have this target here, right? And this, sorry. You have boom, right? And you have like boom. Oops. And then you have boom, right? You want to hit it here, right? Every time you do and you make a video, the closer you hit here, the better. And what does it mean to cut closer here? Because my second channel, right, is all about Beyblade. I send accurate signals to the YouTube algorithm. Think about this, you know, shooting target as the YouTube algorithm. The more better videos I make, right, the more accurate it is because it's a Beyblade audience, the more you're gonna hit like this. But the, sec the main channel, because it's all over the place. Remember, main channel is like Tower of God, SAO, ReZero, random shit with Tensei topics, with story, random shit, right? The second channel is like, sometimes it here, but some most of the time it's like boom, 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 boom. You know what I mean? It's fucking all over the place. That's really low accuracy, but 
that is the purpose of the main channel. The main channel's purpose is to be able to cover such a wide range of topics that I never run out of content to farm. The second channel, I am locked into Beyblade and Beyblade only. And the reason that I even tried this strategy, right? First of all, how does this strategy work? If you look at my old channel, if you look at the old videos, I started off with the idea of trying to focus on one specific reactions and popping off with that. Hasbin Hotel was kind of trending. About five months ago, Hasbin Hotel has already ended for about a month or so, but it was relatively trending. So, you know, hitting like 1.4K views, 1,000 plus views for a brand new channel with new videos is pretty fucking good. And no, these are not the same audiences watching my main channel. It's not that at all. But I could never really do that well. Because look at the analytics here. This is Hasbin Hotel days. This is when I started to make the videos. Look at the viewership, right? It's like non-existent. But something changes here. Guess what happened between June 6th and June 8th, right? The view fucking spiked. What happens? I'll tell you what happens. I released a video called First Time Reacting to Beyblade Intros. I saw other channels basically pop off with their Beyblade reactions. And my idea was, hmm, you know, if Gravity Falls, if Hell of a Boss, these shows aren't really working out and I can't get into the algorithm, Let's make these videos where you do every opening reaction, every ending, every intro, every special move. You'll notice that these kind of videos really pop off a lot in reaction channels. Why is that? Because everyone can enjoy it, right? Audience from all around that's Beyblade lovers can enjoy it and it goes viral really easily. And once that happens, I was like, oh yeah, I'm in the Beyblade algorithm. I think up till here, I was still kind of dabbling with Gravity Falls. But remember, every time you make a Beyblade reaction, and my channel gets a lot of subscribers for Beyblade, and I release a Gravity Falls reactions, guess what happens? It fucking dies off, right? The people that suffer Beyblade are getting fed this content. And that's kind of what's happening with my main channel, right? Not everyone is going to watch every single video, but that's fine. But the purpose of the second channel is to be as accurate as possible, to be a one-trick pony. And I made a separate video here. It's called I Got Some Bad News and Good News, where I say, listen... The algorithm fucking hit. I'm in the Beyblade algorithm. My audience is all about Beyblade, right? Therefore, all I gotta do is make every video just Beyblade. And that's what I did. Look at the average viewership. Before this, hell of a boss, gravity falls. It can't even break 500 views, bro. It's fucking embarrassing. But every Beyblade video afterwards, it's so high. And this is what I'm talking about. Every time... I'm hitting bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. And the more accurate signals you send to the YouTube algorithm, the more confidence they have in sending your videos out to a wider audience that may enjoy that content more. The more precise and focused your content is, right? The better you can scale with the recommendation systems. It's that simple, man. And on top of that, see this shit? And I wanna show you something else too, beyond that. What I've noticed in my main channel, what I've noticed in my main channel is every three months, if I'm able to sustain a certain level of viewership on YouTube, overnight, they will fucking spike and give us more views. And this is what I'm talking about. One second. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. And I'm not sure exactly why this is the case, but I do know that this is now a pattern of behavior I've seen time after time, right? Let's look at here. Back in the day, this is Eminence and Shadow fina uh, finale, right? Eminence and Shadow finale popped off. And if you can see here with my oldest videos, sorry, most popular video, it got 70k views. Fantastic. But guess what? Being viral once doesn't do shit. If you don't know how to make these new people coming in, stick around and make them into community members, you're fucking wasting your time. Chasing virality does not create a community. You know what creates a community? Asking your audience what the fuck they want to watch and delivered content specifically on that. I believe around here is when things start to change. You can't really tell as easily because obviously the graph is, you know, it's kind of hard to tell. But at this point, something started to change. This is about when I started to do data live reactions, right? It's more closer to here, but like data live Konosuba, but this is when community series starts to take place. I said, fuck random weekly seasonals that I'm competing with big channels. It's pointless. And for three months, I held it down and then it doubled. It doubled. And then for three months, I held that down. 
Then it doubled. And then for three months, I held that down. It doubled. And then for three months, I held that down. And we're in the most recent iteration of that. It fucking doubled. Right? This is not me being schizo. This is an analytical representation of what's going on. A pattern of behavior is, is presented here. There is... When I make as much videos as possible, I've always felt like the more videos I make on YouTube, like this upper ceiling of viewership is somehow capped. And you can see clearly that it is capped, right? It's like out of fucking nowhere, it just spikes overnight. And it's not thanks to one specific series. It's not thanks to the beginning of a season, no. It's not. These moments happen overnight. The algorithm literally fucking lifts the floodgates overnight. And I get introduced to a wider audience. Another thing that you can see right here is by looking at the audience tab, right? Look at that shit. With every spike, the blue line is new viewers and purple is returning. The most recent spike, look at that. A spike in New Year's happens. Like overnight, this shit just happens. But no matter how much I try, during the actual like three month phase, Nothing fucking happens. It's just stabilizing and consistency, and it's it's feeling like the algorithm is testing me to see, okay, we'll give you this new level of viewership. And if you can prove to me that you can hold this shit down in a stable way for three months, roughly, then we'll spike you up. And this is where things get very interesting. I always wondered, will my second channel also behave in the same way? And here, let's look. This is my second channel right now. And this is the start of Beyblade about June 7th, right? Around June. That means by the end of August, right? Because June, July, August, that's when the spike should happen if it's going to be the same as my main channel, right? Guess what? We spiked. We spiked here. We spiked here. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, so I'll draw a line that can maybe better represent this shit. One second. Boom. Let's look at this. Right? Look at this shit. Let's draw a line right over here. This is like... Kind of the average, right? Once we got into the Beyblade audience. And this is two months. This is two months, and now we have a new average here. So what does that tell me? It tells me that a similar thing is happening but at a faster rate, right? Because this happened at the beginning of August, first week of August. Overnight, it spiked, right? This is a two month period. So now, what do we know, right? Main channel Zenkai Booth is why I called this every three months. Second channel Zenkai Boost. Every two months. Or at least that's what it seems like it's happening, right? I'm not sure if this is for sure what's going on. But based on what I'm seeing, based on this new level of viewership, it's not like I'm pumping out more content. No, it's still one video a day in the second channel. Yet, the average viewership has gone up crazy. Because at the end of the day, what am I doing? I'm sending great signals to the YouTube algorithm, right? It's all about being as precise as you can. Again, if the first channel is all about horizontal investment, horizontal imagine and think about this, rather than having one bucket, one bucket being Beyblade, we have multiple buckets. We have SAO, we have ReZero, we have fucking Osan Event, Adventure, bunch of that different weekly shit, right? There's so many different topics covering. And because I'm doing this, I'm sending kind of inaccurate, in like not very precise data points to the algorithm but it's still enough to be growing at this rate. And I'm very proud of it. The fact that at a mere almost 20K subscribers, like, do you understand how crazy this shit is? We're getting 1.35 mil viewership. And this isn't me doing an ego check, but you guys know who Echidna is, right? And no disrespect to Echidna, fantastic content creator. And I'm sure he's not as grinding as hard as I am, but I am literally doubling Echidna's viewership Despite him being almost at two, 300,000 subscribers. Like, do you guys only see this sub count and you think that I'm a small channel? No. 
the amount of views that we're getting on a monthly basis is higher than most six-figure channels because I'm putting in the grind as hard as I can. And we're going to farm the shit out of Echidna's videos too. And again, this is no disrespect. I'm just using him as an example because you're very familiar with this guy of the ReZero contents. And I'm showing you that like the viewership is not what it seems like. Because the point of this graph, right? The point of the main channel again is to be able to, co to cover as many different topics as possible. Do you guys know who Asmongold is? And maybe I'll make a separate video a different time about this, but my entire content strategy is this guy, except anime. His entire workflow is co reaction content based on gaming and uh, different adjacent uh, topics that interest them. And they're purely there for the commentary. Because he's able to pump out so many fucking videos, because he simply watches these videos, reacts to them on stream, and then his editor uploads it. Do you, do you, do you want to guess what his fucking stats are, bro? It's fucking stupid. Asmongold TV. No, not you. At, what the fuck am I? Asmon TV. 115 million. Do you see how stupid this is? In a monthly basis. 115 million views and he's still growing. He's still growing. He literally doubled from the beginning of this year until then. He's fucking double. Sorry, last year compared to now, he's fucking double because he's on the grind. And my entire strategy is the same thing, right? Even though there's obviously pros and cons. What are the pros of the second channel? Because I am so accurate, because I'm delivering content specific to this niche, I'm able to scale faster with the recommendation system by delivering, again, as accurate videos as possible for the audience that the YouTube algorithm has categorized me into. And I'm only going to farm Beyblade. There is no shot I'm farming anything else. It's only Beyblade. And then once we're done Beyblade, I ask my community, what do you want to watch? We polled and we only covered that one specific series. And that's a positive of that. The negatives of a channel like this, there's not much. One negative for sure is copyright. Once you get copyright struck for one series, in my main channel, it doesn't matter, right? Like, let's say fucking Tower of God got copyright struck. And it's like, oh no, we can't cover TOG on YouTube anymore. We just go something else. It doesn't fucking matter to me. There's like 20 other series I'm covering. But in, you know, this shit, it's hard. And a lot of different channels has gotten struck for Beyblade Burst. This is Beyblade Metal Saga, a different, you know, series. And it, it's like minus 10 business days, right? It's, it fucking sucks. So that's one negative aspect. But another at negative, but if we're thinking about the actual positive of this, right? So the negatives of the main channel, because we're so all over the place, the average viewership will not be scaling as fast as the second channel. But due to the sheer amount of volume that I'm putting out, the average viewership is always going to be so much fucking higher in terms of like a monthly viewership, right? And not only that, I'm not limited to one specific topic. Like, if you're bound to one specific topic and you know that's the only content your audience cares about, it's going to get suffocating. But my main channel, I can talk about whatever the fuck I want, as long as it's the animes that we're talking about. And this channel is, this channel's niche started from being, you know, random weekly shit, right? Random weekly shit. And then later on towards more community series. And recently it's been, the niche is more about me and my personality and how I'm going to be able to take this into just like, yes, we do reactions. Reactions are the main component of this, but there's like analysis content, right? There's random meme shit, there are meme reactions. There's so many things where now I'm not beholden to one specific anime series. I can do whatever the fuck we want and we can continue to grow. And that is very liberating. It's very... It's a free feeling compared to this, where it's just like, well, once Beyblade's done, it's like, what the fuck are we going to do, right? So that is pretty much what's going on with my main channel and my second channel. And please, do not sub to my second channel if you don't watch Beyblade. You think you're helping out by subbing? You're just a fucking dead sub that don't click on the videos if you don't actually watch it. I appreciate the sentiment, but only sub to it if you actually give a fuck about the cartoons. And hope you guys learned a little bit more about how the YouTube algorithm works and the different pros and cons and advantages and disadvantages regarding different content strategies. TLDR, main channel, horizontal scaling, variety.
but due to that low average viewership per video however due to the sure volume of content we're reaching numbers higher than most six figure sub channels on youtube second channel very the exact opposite exact opposite strategy very precise one trick pony and one thing and what are we seeing we've seen that the average viewership will skyrocket faster than the main channel because we're sending very accurate signals to the algorithm however by doing this you kind of get shoeboxed into one specific niche and in terms of a uh i don't know it'll make some creators like feel suffocated because they feel like they can only do one thing also it seems like if you're accurate as possible the zenkai boost that i talk about right the zenkai boost that i talk about second channel happens in two month intervals first channel happens in three month intervals and no i'm not crazy this has happened not only once twice three four we're on the fifth iteration right now of the zenkai boost which means by the end of september as we go into re-zero october season three we're gonna get another fucking boost baby and oh man we gonna be farming even harder